Hey guys, welcome to the Pega tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through how you can create a Pega sample application. So once you have installed the Pega, you can go to the Pega PSB startup and hit this button. That will bring up your Pega server, as you can see over here. So once you have started up the server, you can just click on the Pega PSP login. So that will bring up the login screen. Over here, as you can see, I have the default administrator user. I'm just going to hit login. That takes you to the Pega Designer Studio. Over here, you can create your first Pega application. So first, go to the Pega rules on the top left-hand side corner. Click on it. Over here, you can see new application. So click on the new application. Over here, there are two different types of application. One is enterprise, another one is express application. So as of now, we'll be covering enterprise application. So let's get started. Hit on the create new application. Over here you can define your application name. As of now, I'm gonna give Pega tutorial. Then over here you can give the description. I would say Pega free tutorials. Over here, there are different types of applications. You can, as of now, I'm gonna leave the Pega rules as a default. Whereas in the advanced concepts, you can touch base on Pega DM, NLP. This is the personal edition which I'm using currently. So then you can choose the implementation only or you can define a framework. Organization, I'll type Pega. Then I'll click on next. That brings up to the next screen. Over here you can define the application name. Okay, Pega name cannot be. Okay, there you go. So it's already existing. So you can define as Pega tutorial. Click on next. That will bring up your business objective. So over here you can define as free tutorials. Click on next. So this is your business objective. So there are no items at the moment. So if you want, you can add a case type. Or as of now, yeah, let's add a case type. So over here you can define, you can same free tutorials. Description, you can just leave the same, or if you want to add any more details, then click on next. Over here, if you're gonna add data types, so I would say uh, tutorials under your description, I'll put free tutorials. Okay, uh, this one I'm gonna leave as enterprise layer, then hit on create. So typically, I would say it takes a while to create the application because behind the scene what it does it uses the database and a lot of java libraries to to create the application so that's the beauty of pega you don't have to code anything as you can see you can do everything over the console so once so so you can say how business really use these things for an example i would say banking so a banking has like several process so when you apply for a credit card so what it does is goes to some some level of credit checking so over there if they approve then your application gets approved so it's a business case so you can Im implement that using pega so okay there you go over here we have now a user created admin author manager and user so you can so as of now i'm going to use admin to log in and the default password is created as rules so once you log off from here you would be able to log in using these users so in the next series i'll be covering how you're going to use all the remaining users so as of now i'm just going to cover admin just click on log off over here just put the same username and password is rules then click on login so that would bring up your admin panel basically the use the case which you have been just created okay there you go free tutorial application so on this tutorial you just learn how you can create your first Pega tutorial using the enterprise application. Thank you.